Researchers at the University of Michigan are studying ways to use AI to improve the field of medicine. And a new study has shown the technology could be used to help doctors diagnose patients with brain cancer. The doctor who invented this AI technology used in that study is here to talk about it. Dr. Todd Holland, thank you for joining us. Yes, happy to join. Dr. Holland, how do we currently treat cancerous brain tumors and what issues do patients face when they're treated with those methods? Yeah, so the majority of patients with brain tumors uh, really undergo uh, three main therapies for treatment of their tumors. The first one and the one that I'm most directly involved with is surgery. So we try to remove um, the majority or sometimes all of the tumor at the time of an operation and then Afterwards, depending on the tumor, and once we've gotten a diagnosis, sometimes the patients will undergo radiation or chemotherapy to treat the remainder of the tumor there. So those are the really the, the three mainstays for the treatment of brain cancer. So how can your new technology change the landscape of diagnosing and treating cancerous brain tumors? Yeah, so the big uh, challenge that we were trying to address in this particular study was that, you know, it takes some time to go from a tumor that we as surgeons have operated on to actually reaching a final diagnosis. That's where we know with certainty what exactly the tumor is. And it can be anywhere from a week, two weeks, sometimes up to six weeks, depending on how complicated the diagnosis is. And it seems like it would be an easy problem to, to make diagnoses, but in the instances of complex malignancies and cancers, it can be quite challenging. And one of the um, especially difficult things about being a neurosurgeon who treats brain tumors is that in the majority of cases when we're operating on the tumor, we don't know with certainty what that tumor actually is. We have a guess as to what it might be, but we certainly don't know definitively what that diagnosis is. So my team was really trying to figure out better ways to make rapid diagnoses of these brain tumors in order to be able to guide what we do in the operating room. How aggressive should we be? You know, how much additional tumor do we want to potentially try to resect? Do we just do a biopsy and then stop? All of those things are uh, questions that we want to assist surgeons uh, in making. And then also we want to ultimately improve the overall outcomes for patients. Yeah. So what does this show about the future of how providers can use AI to advance uh, healthcare? Yeah, I think that this is a, a growing field. I think that we're still trying to um, figure out the best uh, points at which we can affect patients care using artificial intelligence. And um, I think diagnosis is one of the ones that is sort of, you know, begs for a AI solution because um, the challenge of making these diagnoses is only getting more difficult now that we know more about cancers and malignancies you know we know that the the complexity of these tumors is high and reaching those diagnoses um, involves potentially sequencing the tumor it involves imaging studies there's just a lot that goes into reaching those diagnoses and that's where i think artificial intelligence has a lot to gain and i think in the end too it has a way in in this particular study to really expedite as a screening tool, what we think the most likely diagnoses are. And that's what we were looking for this to go from, you know, a time frame from, you know, weeks down to just a couple of minutes in the operating room. And that's that was really the big achievement in terms of uh, applying artificial intelligence to, to the care of brain tumor patients. Yeah, well, the future is bright, it sounds like, for AI and healthcare. Dr. Todd Holland, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, thank you very much.